So what we're talking about today is the Motorola Atrix. It's the most powerful smartphone in the world and we're saying that for several reasons. It's the first smartphone to ship with a dual core processor in there and that's two one gigahertz processors running simultaneously which incre increases performance and reduces battery drain. Secondly, it runs over the HSPA Plus network, so lightning fast, quick download speeds. And then we increase the RAM on the device. Many phones have 256 or 512 meg of RAM. We actually increased it to a gigabyte of RAM on this device. So between those three elements, it's incredibly fast. We improved the resolution of this, so it's the world's first QHD display, quarter high definition display, um, which displays in incredibly crystal clear colors. And then on the back, we not only have a front-facing VG a camera, but we have a high definition camera on the back for capturing moments in high definition. So now you can capture and display in high definition. You'll also notice on here that there's a fingerprint sensor. Um, the power key actually doubles as a fingerprint sensor, so you no longer need to have a four, six, eight digit pin code in order to make a phone call. One swipe of your finger and you're up and running and able to make a phone call. It holds up to 48 gigabytes of memory. That is, it comes with 16 gig on board and another 32 gig optional card can be installed. And then finally, it has uh, additional security features such as Moto Blur, where you can actually locate your device should you lose it, wipe it, and remotely restore it. So, those are just the powerful specifications of the device. Once you take it and are ready for a world of converged computing, you actually can use something like this, which is the Motorola Laptop Dock. It measures in at 14 millimeters thin and actually has uh, a little tray in the back. So you can take the device, snap it into the back, and it boots up very quickly. Within five seconds, the device will actually launch onto this screen and also display in a complete web computing environment. So just in my last demo, I was expanding the size of the screen, but that's the device I was just using. You'll notice that exactly the screen we left on is right there, and I can interact with it just as I would my screen on my smartphone. I can access any of the applications and expand that to the full screen should I want to do so. But then on this side, I actually have a full web browsing environment. This is a, a computer-grade com mobile computing environment. So you'll see here that I've got ESPN up. I can support anything that I can do with Firefox on a computer, I can do here, and it supports full Flash 10. So I can go back and forth between multiple applications, and just with a simple Alt-Tab, it'll allow me to go between multiple windows at the same time. So I can check email, check my calendar, or catch up on news uh, that I've been interested in. So we have the computing side over here, we have the Android side over here that's possible with this laptop dock, which is 2.5, 2.4 pounds. But then I can also take it over to this Motorola HD dock and dock it and simply boot into a new experience, which we're also talking about here at the show, which is the Motorola Entertainment Center. That is a simple media player that allows you to kind of go through multiple windows of pictures, videos, and, um, uh, and uh, music that you have on your device and maximize that. We'll see uh, if uh, we now have a uh, little uh, video here that we can play. But um, high definition display coming out at 720p. It's also capable of playing 1080p, though it projects at 720p. But allows you, whether you're traveling in a hotel room or going into your home living room, to sit and actually enjoy all the media that you've either downloaded or, um, uh, or actually captured on your device. I can also go back into the web top environment here, and I can use this if you picture this being a business monitor in my office or in my home, uh, home uh, office or even on my living room. I can project now and be fully productive right where I left off, all thanks to the Motorola Atrix. So that is why between the entertainment center, the web top computing, and all the powerful specifications of the device, why we're calling the Motorola Atrix the most powerful smartphone. Thank you. It's supposed to launch sometime this quarter, but there's no set date for set price yet. Um, so this is going to ship running Froyo Android 2.2. So it's all touch screen. We have a 4.0 inch screen. Um, it's a QHD screen, which means quarter HD. So everything on there looks crystal clear. It's essentially if you put four Atrixes together, you'd have an HD screen, which makes it quarter HD. Um, front webcam here, and then on the back, we've got a five megapixel camera with the flash that records in HD video, so 720p. Um, otherwise, it's all touch screen here. We have a dual core processor, each running at one gigahertz. So it's super fast. <laughs> Faster than any other phone out there, it's the first dual core processor. 
Um, so here we've got the menu where you can kind of open up. You can see there's no lag whatsoever. It's very fast. Yeah, it's fast. Yeah, we've got two options for typing on here. So we have swipe and the standard multi-touch keypad. So if you kind of long hold input method, you can choose between swipe or multi-touch. So you can see it's really easy to type on just having such a large screen. Um, but you can do video chat on here between 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi. There are no restrictions.